Okay, well here's something kind of fun. This is the simplest electric motor you can build. And if you punch up simple electric homemade motor, that's it right there. It's just a coil of wire stretched across a AA battery. And uh, it makes a motor. And the granddad did a 3D print of this. And uh, it was fun because he used really thick wire and it got to smoking when he put too much juice to it. And it was fun, fun to watch. So I thought I would just uh, build one of these. And I've never built one before. I've, you can imagine that. All the years I've, I've built motors, I've never built one of these because it was so inefficient. Uh, it's terrible, terrible amp dry. If you use too fine a wire, then it flops around and it's not very good. But uh, if you do it right, you can get something that... Uh, works pretty good for a while until it drains the battery down and they use a volt and a half usually just like that it's just paper clips taped on the edge of a battery with a magnet there in the middle and you've got the electromagnet spinning around in the in the middle with one side of the insulation this is magnet wire scraped off and the other side is uh coated and i put some extra coating on that so it wouldn't wear through and short out but anyway um I went a little further with this and I built this and this is the same idea. It's just a coil of wire, permanent magnet down there. It's insulated wire where the insulation stripped off here and stripped off there. If you do this just right, see if I can get it to go here. Now you got a motor. Now the, the rotor spins around, uh, hits those little contacts on the side. Um, creates an electromagnet. Electromagnet is pushed away with the permanent magnet and round and round we go. And I just used a 5 farad super cap filled up with 3 volts there as the power source. But it was fun. You know, it's just something fun and different I hadn't done before. And like I say, I've never built one of these before because I don't like them. They're too inefficient and it's a brushed DC motor that I got away from and went to brushless motors right away when I started uh, my lid motor uh, channel. But anyway, just uh, something fun to do. And I'm going to post Granddad's video on his 3D printed one of these. And he had fun with it because he got it really hot and it started to smoke. And uh, I, it was fun to watch. So I'll give you a link to his uh, his video. But this is my, uh, my little fun little project here that I did as a spin-off of that. Thanks for watching.